What's good? Team Exclusive. Welcome to episode two of What If on my channel, obviously. Uh, today, we are covering the PSG versus Man City game. But as the title does portray, it's PSG versus Man City, but everyone is one rated. This might be the, the single worst idea I probably have thought of. And the game is probably going to be atrocious. But I'm just interested in seeing that, that Raheem Sterling now trying to run around one one pace with his little t-rex arms anyway if i take you through our team sheets so uh we've got man city here which uh, as you can see um you'll see that everyone's not one rated uh, it's difficult because i put them all as you can see all of their stats uh, are just up here they're all one no idea why defending is 27 uh, or like 20 or 21 i put them all down to one or the lowest stat possible i spent an hour doing it I literally want to kill myself. It's the most painful experience you can ever imagine trying to do 15 odd players and put them all down to like one rated individually for each stat. Oh, it's a nightmare. But either way, I've no idea why some are two or like the defense is like 14. That could cause problems. We'll see. So what happens. Everyone's got a one star weak foot. Everyone's got the lowest stats possible. Obviously, they do get a boost in the game. So technically, it probably won't be one. So technically, this, this video is clickbait. So sorry uh but yeah that's it so i try try my best anyway some players are actually one rated like gundawan torres and uh why is torres cdm can i even select the cdm can i select the cdm there we go he's a right winger we'll put uh we'll put Rodri in there i mean he's 11 rated but like all of his stats are pretty much one i mean if we have a quick look at uh his actual stats, one second. So composure is 85. That's why it's probably so high. But you can see everyone, everyone is, uh, or every stat, sorry, is is one rated. You can't change defensive awareness or composure. So I don't know. I have no idea. And that's Man City. That is Man City side. Obviously, they are facing PSG in the semi-finals, which we're going to be simulating. But obviously, with a bit of a twist, because everybody is one rated. Now, this one was quite easy because uh, Neymar had pretty much every stat under three anyway. The only stats he had, I think he had two stats over over three, which were diving and rolling. Bang, that was awful. All right, okay, cool. Anyway, uh, yeah, so as you know, in this series, well, in these type of experiments anyway, I have no control over the game. I have no input uh, whatsoever. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> yeah, he scored, let's go. What a banger, let's see if we can do it again. Bang. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, they did, uh, did a disgusting amount of skill moves. And I think that may have hindered a lot of the progress in the game. So I've turned that off. Hopefully they won't. We'll see what happens. I don't think they can anyway. Well, they can. But, I mean, their agility is, like, next to none. So, um, yeah. I mean, we don't need to watch this at all. They're all as you'd expect. All right, here we go. So kickoff is underway. Everybody is one rated. Who out is Who is going to come out on top? Let me know in the comment section below who you think is going to win this. And also, who do you think is going to win in real life? You know, is it going to be... Is Paris Saint-Germain going to going to trump Man City? I mean, they're all not one rated, so who knows at this point. I would put my money on PSG, but you never know. You never know what can happen. Running it at full speed. Neymar running at full speed. Back to Mbappe. Look how quick he is. Man, Mbappe is so fast. <laughs> It did, they did actually do some interesting skills, but um, it was probably in the way of them actually shooting. So, bad. God damn. Go on. Good pass. Icardi. Well, never mind. Look at that. What a strike by Icardi. Hits the, uh, hits the sponsor board straight square in the face. Like, oh, you love to see it. Draxler. Go on, take the shot, son. Oh, pass off to Neymar. Can he get a ball in? He gets back to Draxler, takes the shot. Oh, what an effort by Draxler. A P-roller. That was so dangerous. Okay, so I'm going to try and make it a little bit more interesting for the second half anyway to see how things go. So I've knocked up the first touch error to 75%. We've got the fullback positioning down to one. Uh, line height, width, and length is all staying at 50 because I don't know quite what or how that changes. Run frequency is now to 100. We've got um, marking down to 1 and goalkeeper ability down to 1. Not that it was already at 1 anyway, but there we go. So injury severity and injury frequency is staying at 50. Whilst pass speed, pass shot is at 100. 
pass error and shot error is at 50 with acceleration and sprint speed maxed out so a hundred percent out of one is still one no i did that made literally zero sense but either way hopefully this might spice up the game a little bit see uh they're all going to be super speedy i imagine i mean and they're all going to make really bad touches so this is this should hopefully make things a little bit interesting and they're not going to be marking anybody as well so we might see quite a few goals it's just going to be complete utter mayhem i mean look at that as well <laughs> it's just it's sunday league stuff right now isn't it just the passes are so hard and so fast and nobody's marking anybody jesus christ doesn't work out for him terrible first touch draxler Gives it off to Mbappe in the middle. Who keeps it and gets the first goal. Let's go, Mbappe. More like Mbappu. Let's go. You love to see it. There we go. First goal of the game. That was absolute garbage. <laughs> but Mbappe doing Mbappe things. Um, I do want to see a replay of the goal because obviously it was a good pass. But, uh, I mean, look, look at that defending. <laughs> look at that defending. That's god awful. And then Mbappe... Bangs it into the back of the net. Goalkeeper ability on the floor, as we know. But there we go. Look how quick he is. Holy shit, man. I shouldn't be surprised, but he's mad quick. Xavi Simmons with a great pass. Oh, another great ball in through. And another goal from PSG. 2-0. PSG. Di Maria somehow gets the bounce to go his way. Who knows how that happened or how that worked, but... He, he slots it in the back of the net. You love to see it. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I don't understand the AI's decision making. It doesn't make any sense at all. Neymar is tackled by Ruben Diaz. Who gets the ball taken off him by Sarabia. Back to Neymar. Can they get a third before the game's over? Xavi Simmons. To Moise Keane. Back to Simmons. Somehow they've got all the ball control. I don't know quite where that's... Okay. Never mind. Anyway, great strike by Akadi. Uh, however... First leg does go to Paris Saint-Germain. You do love to see it. Uh, Man City obviously losing out big time. Um, just couldn't get the ball to stay under control. Just couldn't. And they just wouldn't pass the ball to any kind of teammates. Um, whereas PSG, the AI, they actually were semi-competent. So you do love to see it. Anyway, we're going to continue to the second leg. See how things play out in the second half of uh, this game. We've got uh we'll go with the white one that's fine all right so before we get into the actual game just to quickly show you what i've been changing so first touch error i've knocked down to 60 just to hopefully keep that that kind of under control because it was a bit too a bit too mental um sprint speed and acceleration all at 100 again we've got shot error and pass error down to one so hopefully we should see a lot of goals and hopefully a lot of um just a lot of goals really everything else is the same uh besides obviously those and um the first step, first touch error which i've knocked down to 60 to hopefully make this game slightly more under control but also still keep it somewhat mental all right so here we go for the second leg second match of champions league psg versus man city uh we'll see what happens like i say hopefully this game is a little bit more controlled hopefully we have a lot of goals as well because that's kind of the point whilst this is just meant to be stupid fun uh clearly nothing's changed um yeah it, we do want to see goals at the end of the day. We don't want it just to be a complete shit show, which it kind of was. That's one good pass, got to be honest. Pass error and uh, shot error is, is nothing. I obviously left it at one, just so there is a potential of, of there being an error. But more often than not, we don't want to see that. So Sterling coming back and defending. It's not, not often what you see, to be honest, but... What a pass it is. Sterling making the run. Oh, drops Marquinhos. I don't know who he tried to pass to there. I think it was Jesus, but it went to uh, Mares instead. Di Maria down the side. Why has he stopped running? Pass it across. Nope. Cuts inside. Takes the shot. What a goal by Di Maria. Who saw that one coming? Absolutely nobody. What a rocket that was. Um, that's, uh, that's insane. <laughs> that's insane. Um... Wow. Edison takes the free kick. No idea why. And they immediately lose out. But also Gabriel Jesus gets the ball. Gives it to Mares. Bang! <laughs> what a goal by Riyad Mares. Just absolutely rips one. 
into the back of the net, just like Di Maria. What a strike that was. Boom. No stop, no stopping that. Good little through ball. Off to Mbappe. Gives it off to Icardi. He was going to cut inside. Bang. And he just says, nah, game over. Sorry, Man City. Out. The kitchen. I don't know what I was trying to say. Either way, Icardi obviously rips one in the back of the net. It's going to happen. If they get in that position and they're getting the ball and they shoot, it's going to be a goal because shot error is next to nothing. Next to nothing. So, yeah. And the goalkeeper's a shite, obviously. I mean, Edison's shite anyway. But <laughs> To Gabriel Jesus. Is he going to take a shot? Is he? He is. And it's a goal by Gabriel Jesus. I was just watching that defending. It was just, it was just sad. There's still time. Cannot rule anything out in this game. It is, uh, it has gone completely up on its end or up on its other end. I don't know. But never mind. I give up. He's injured. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Good, uh, good throw in by PSG. Gives it straight to Jesus. Who's going to take the shot. What a goal. My God. This could be the start of comeback. I didn't think they were, they were, they even knew how to take long shots. I mean, that throw itself was absolutely tragic, but just bang, goal. I mean, I mean, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. What a strike. What a strike. And that's now 4 3 on aggregate. They're pulling it back. Icardi, who gives it straight to Xavi Simmons. Take the shot, son. How has Edison saved that? He's one rated. Extra time, yeah. Stoppage time. Xavi Simmons loses out. It falls down to Sergio Aguero. They've got some space. What are they going to do with it? Are they actually going to make it count? This could be game over if they lose the ball. Last, last chance. To Carl Walker, who gets a ball in. Gomez. I don't believe it. I don't believe what has just happened. I don't believe it. Navas has chose not to save the ball. This is possibly the first match fixed game I've ever seen. Look at this. I don't, I don't believe it. I can't believe they've just scored in the very dying embers. The bronze beast Gomez has just absolutely murked Navas. I astonished. I'm astonished. I can't believe They've now made me have to sit here for another possible half an hour watching this game. Uh, how fucking selfish. Unreal. But look at that. 4-2 from Man City to bring it back equal terms on aggregate. I guess uh, I guess the computer didn't really expect for there to be a draw. And neither did I. Neither did I. Um... That's mental. Okay, so I, I didn't really want to end this video on just a draw. It just seems really... Uh, really kind of shit um so i also was trying to look see if there was a just a standard yo hold on watch this bang okay never mind uh wait i i know how to do these so watch this bang that was actually pretty good i actually thought i was going to go miles away anyway um i was hoping there was going to be like um because they've, they've got these like house rules and these like, you know, Volta match where you can set up like a Volta match. Uh, so I hoped there would be one way you could just do like a penalty shootout or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know why they don't have just penalty shootout modes. But um, yeah, and I'm surprised the, the, the semi, semi-final thing didn't go to a penalty shootout when it was a draw. It didn't show me a winner either way because it said both. Um, it may have been counting away goals. I don't actually know. It didn't. I don't know. I don't know if the game is that sophisticated or not. So what I've done is I've set up a first two match. So the first team that scores a goal is going to be the winner. And that's going to be our decision. And that's going to be our deciding factor of who is going to be the winning team in this matchup. Obviously, PSG are in the pinky purple kit. Man City are obviously in the blue. Uh, Man City obviously looking very, very dominant so far. They looked incredibly dominant in the second second game PSG obviously dominated the first one so it's been it's been the best of uh, best of best of both breads you uh, you do love to see it but who's going to score first that's the question isn't it who is going to be scoring first and who is going to be the scorer who knows probably hmm i don't know i don't want to say anything because last time i i thought PSG were going to win they almost did 
and Man City, they brought it back. They scored 4-1, one, one in the dying embers of the game. And uh, what a game. That was absolutely mental to observe. PSG coming down with Neymar. Gives it off to Kazawa. What are we saying? Off to Draxler. Gives it to Mbappe. Cuts inside. He still has the ball. It's fallen to Icardi. He's taken the shot. And Icardi has scored. I thought he was offside. No way. And there we go. PSG are the winner. PSG have won. What a goal by Icardi. I thought he was offside. So that's my bad. I just thought I thought that wasn't going to count. But Jesus. I suppose, yeah, because it wasn't really a pass, was it? What do, like How that went in. How that went in, we'll never know. <laughs> how this goes in. How does he do that? How does he do that? I swear, it's the AI, man. Only the AI could have scored that. But there we go. So Mario Icardi is the victor in this case. Um, so, sad times, Man City. Sad, sad times. Even though I don't... It's one of those, isn't it? You could say, oh, you know, three out of five times Man City would win. But whatever, it's one of those. So, we had to find a winner somehow. And it was PSG. Even though I think that was deserved. But I think both teams played really well. I don't know. That was quite fun. That was actually really good fun to watch. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I don't know. Mental. But yeah, so either way, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. Um, it's actually a lot of fun. It's a lot, it's a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Because I thought that there was an element that it could be just incredibly boring. Just kind of watching the AIs play football. But it's actually surprisingly not. I don't know. Hopefully the video is, is somewhat entertaining as well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really good fun. So the next video that will be in the series will be... Um, who won it? It was PSG. It will be PSG versus Chelsea in some kind of twisted twisted mannerism and we'll um we'll see what happens we'll have some fun with that and that, that that should be really really good but yeah either way that'll do it for today so hopefully you have enjoyed if you have please do drop it a like that'll be very very much appreciated uh if you want to see more of this content and you haven't already please do consider hitting that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family but with that said i do hope you enjoyed thank you very much for watching and as always we'll see you next time